Hi, hope you're having a great day. We have two circulatory systems in the human body. One of it we're all aware of. It's our heart that circulates blood to almost every part of the human body and every cell. And then we have something called the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system, think of it as your body's garbage disposal system. The, the job of the lymphatic system is basically to move, to move immune cells, immunity cells, and to move dead cell debris okay, across the body and out of the body. It uses immune cells basically where it needs to recognize a pathogen, a bacteria, a particular virus, and then the breakdown or something called lymph, which is the waste, has to be moved out of the body through the circulatory system in the human body. Now, the best way to understand the lymphatic system is to think of a drain in your bathroom. So we have a little drain right now. If it gets clogged with hair or dirt, what's going to happen? Two things. The drain's going to overflow, number one, with a lot of dirty water. And number two, because of the accumulation of all the dirt and the hair, it becomes a breeding space for bacteria. Now, you take that analogy and you put it into the lymphatic system of your body. If your lymphatic system is working perfectly, it can basically transport immune cells to do the function of immunity and it can remove all the dead cell debris and all the toxins out of your body. Now your lymph, lymphatic system has something called lymph nodes. We have these nodes in our thymus, in our chest area, our abdomen, under our arms, our armpits and in our groin area. So when we sweat, we have basically lymph nodes under the arms basically which is pushing out sweat which is toxins in a way. So. That's how we keep the, the lymphatic system unclogged. Now, when it gets a clogged, when it gets clogged because of toxic accumulation from the food that we eat, from our sedentary lifestyles, from the air that we breathe, these toxins accumulate. The immune cells, our immune cells can consist of lymphocytes. And so you have lymphatic system, lymphocytes, lymph, lymph node. All of these are interrelated for lymphocytes. Lymphocytes is a huge part of our, our, our immune system. When you do a normal CBC, which is your complete blood count, you'll see neutrophils, you'll see red blood cells, you'll see white blood cells, you'll see something called lymphocytes. So these lymphocytes actually help you stay healthy. They are designed to recognize viruses, germs, pathogens in the human body and basically take care of them. Now, in most cancers like lymphatic cancers, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, lymphoma, all of these, these include cancers of the lymphatic system where your B killer cells, your lymph cells, all of these start behaving abnormally because of different issues like inflammation that can happen or basically the clogging of the lymphatic system. So the main point, the main part of keeping our immunity strong, especially even when people have non-Hodgkin's lymphomas, lymphomas, or for that matter, any cancer, any cancer, I always talk about the environment. We have two environments in the human body. One is outside of us, the environment that we are in. And second is the environment inside of our body. Now, the, the environment inside of our body is extremely important. It could be extremely acidic, it could be alkaline, it could be toxic, it could be inflamed. So maintain, maintaining the right environment in our body is extremely important. Now, we don't have to try too hard if we're, li if we're leading a healthy and a balanced life. Because you see, each and every one of us are mostly born with a perfect mechanism called the intelligence of the human body. We can automatically detoxify when our lungs are working the right way, when our skin is working the right way, when our liver, kidney and our colon is working the right way. If these five exits are working perfectly, we automatically detoxify. We don't have to go through extremes to detoxify the human body. Now, yes, some of us live in cities which are polluted. We have access to polluted food. There's adulteration and all of that stuff. So sometimes we have to help our body detoxify to get rid of the, that extra burden of toxins. Now, when your lymphatic system isn't working the right way, the body always gives us symptoms. If you are listening carefully, and which is why it is so important for all of us, especially in today's chaotic world, to live mindfully. Mindfully doesn't mean you have to meditate all the time, although meditation helps you to build a mindful habit. Mindfully means being aware of what is happening in your body and what your body is telling you constantly. So for example, if you constantly need caffeine to get you through the day, your body's trying to tell you you're fatigued. You don't have enough of energy. Your sleep may not be good. You're not eating the right food. That's why you need an external stimulant like caffeine to keep you energized throughout the day. So when your lymphatic, when your lymphatic system isn't working the right way or it's probably clogging up or it's not functioning the right way, that means there is toxin accumulation happening. Now, most people will face headaches. Some people will face migraines. A lot of people would face bloating low immunity, which means you constantly keep getting sick and you need heavy medication to get better. 
constant fatigue throughout the day and sometimes you constantly feel cold no matter where you are air conditioned environment whether it's summer you constantly feel cold these are symptoms that your lymphatic system has become sluggish and you need to make changes right away in your lifestyle your diet your exercise everything to make sure that your circulatory system the lymphatic system works well you see if it doesn't work and it doesn't move the toxins start clogging every part of your body so what stimulates the lymphatic system to work the best is movement movement we we keep talking about the evils of a sedentary lifestyle your lymphatic system unlike your circulatory system which is your heart your heart is an involuntary function it will beat when we're sleeping when we're not thinking about it when we're working when we're talking it works involuntarily but the lymphatic system is only stimulated with movement so when you're sedentary your lymphatic system isn't moving which is why sitting in one place for a long time or having a sedentary lifestyle is dangerous for you but every time you walk in fact the time you stand up and you take a step forward and your foot hits the ground you stimulate your lymphatic system which means you allow your system to work the way it was designed so movement is extremely important also what happens is when we move we increase our oxygen consumption it is so important for oxygen to reach every cell and every tissue of the human body. There is a condition called hypoxia, which is the lack of oxygen to several tissues and muscles in the human body. This happens when we're extremely acidic, when we're sedentary, or when we're on heavy medication. Hypoxia is bad for us because if oxygen doesn't reach certain cells and certain tissues, it's deprived of oxygen. We all know that oxygen is the life force, that, that every cellular metabolism happens in the presence of oxygen. We can do without water for a while, we can do without food for a while, but without oxygen, three, four minutes, we will die. It is the life force, so we need to make sure that we have the right amount of oxygen getting into us, which is why deep breathing, pranayama, yoga, movement, walking, jogging, CrossFit, whatever that movement is that you do, make sure that you're consistently doing it. A sedentary lifestyle for you, your children, the elderly, the senior citizens, everyone who has the ability to lose their, use their legs and move should be grateful for that movement and they should be using it to keep themselves, to keep themselves absolutely healthy. Rebounding is fantastic for your lymphatic system. Now rebounding is the process of jumping on a trampoline. Sometimes even skipping or jumping around basically. Every time you jump or you jump on a trampoline, you stimulate your lymphatic system. You loosen up the toxicity between your lymph nodes and you get the lymph moving. Everything is movement. If there's something that stagnates in your body, go back to the drain that we spoke about. The drain will get clogged and then you have an overflow. That overflow is into your own system. And that's how we create toxicity of different organs in the human body stretching is fantastic for your lymphatic system so things like yoga Pilates anything that you do where you stretch your body all of us realize when you wake up in the morning you're a little bit stiff but the moment you stretch you have oxygen flow and blood flow to all your cells and your muscles and you feel a little bit energized which is why things like yoga Pilates even just simple stretching if you have a sedentary lifestyle and you need to sit there are things where you can just sit at your chair and you can stretch you can stretch your shoulders, you can stand up, touch your toes, but that gets your lymphatic system working. So stretching is extremely important. Hydration, hydration, lymph is a fluid. It needs a medium of water to be moved out. The medium that carries toxins out of our body is blood. Blood consists of water and water is used by our kidneys and liver to flush out excess toxins. That's why we have a bladder to control water and the intake and the flush out of every toxin in the human body. So even a 1% drop of water in your system, whether you're healthy or unhealthy, will compromise the lymphatic system in your, in your body. So we gotta get our basics right before we start looking at complications and different fads that are available to us. There are so many people out there on fat diets and they drink two to three glasses of water. It just doesn't make sense. No amount of your fat diet is going to help you if you don't have your basics in place. Okay, sweating. The human body, we should sweat. We should sweat. Now, if you live in cold countries, that's why you have saunas, you have hot tubs, something where you can sweat because sweating is a way of getting toxins out of the body and it helps your lymphatic system uh, stay clean. Now we have this problem today where we don't obviously want to sweat. We don't want to have those wet patches under our t-shirts. So we use deodorants that stop sweat. Now that's a really bad thing because if you really think, you don't even need science to realize this. You need common sense. Okay, the body's trying to push out sweat, which is toxic, which has toxins in it. And here we are using all of these special perfumes or deodorants that don't allow you to sweat. So that sweat and toxins gets back into your system, into your lymph nodes. And that's how we have inflamed lymph nodes. That's how we had have certain cancers of lymph nodes. I'm not saying your deodorant is causing your cancer. 
Cancer is multifactorial. There are many, 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 many things that cause it. But even, even the, the, you know, when you wear tight garments, because a bra for a woman passes directly below the lymph nodes under the arms. So when you wear a tight bra for a long time, you are compromising circulation. I'm not saying don't wear a bra. I'm saying when you don't have to do it, make sure that you're absolutely free. For men, the same thing, tight underwear again, because where does the inner lining of your tight underwear pass? In the groin area, where we have lymph nodes. So it's extremely important to understand that we need to let our bodies be free. These are simple lifestyle changes in order to allow the circulatory system to work the right way. There's something else called dry brushing, and this is good for men and women. You take a special kind of a brush and you brush your skin because this also stimulates the working of the lymphatic system. So women with cellulite find this extremely uh, if, uh, productive for them. It's the same thing for stimulating your lymphatic system again. And then of course, we have to talk about your diet. When you have an anti-inflammatory diet, a diet that is good for you, which is full of fruits and vegetables, especially vegetables which are cruciferous in nature, which is your broccoli, your kale, your cauliflower, your cabbage, your radish, you know, all of these things are high sulfur and these are great anti-inflammatory foods. Then you have your ginger, you have your turmeric, you have everything that a balanced diet already consists of. You need a simple balanced anti-inflammatory diet to let your lymphatic system work the way it was designed to work. Fruits and vegetables are a must in your diet, which is why I'm against certain so-called fad diets today, which promise you great weight loss, but they don't allow you to eat fruits. Great, you may lose weight, but you're also going to lose a lot of your other health. So everything has to happen in balance. Please remember when you choose a fad diet, understand is your life goal weight loss to look good or is your life goal weight loss in a balanced way, but to feel good and to maintain your immunity and to live a life without the side effects that certain fad diets cause you. You see, people really have to get on fad diets when they lack discipline, when they're attached to a particular lifestyle that they don't want to give up. Because before all these fad diets came up, people worked hard on their food. They were disciplined. They worked hard on their exercise. They were disciplined. They slept well, they managed their stress, and they had fantastic, great bodies. Today, if we have to go through extremes to reach a great body, something is wrong. Because people have done this decades ago without having to use extreme measures to lose weight. And today, it's our attachment, it's our greed, it's our inability to give up things, it's our inability to give up comfort and use that one word discipline to achieve our targets. We want it the quick way and we want it the easy way. And that comes with consequences. Beetroot is fantastic for your lymphatic system, but again, if you're going through conditions, you want to make sure that your sodium potassium levels are in place because some of these vegetables are high potassium. So you want to make sure that your reports are well in place before you start to do anything in excess. This is about your lymphatic system. It is as simple as that. It is designed to protect us. It is related to our immunity, inflammation, our skin, our hair, the way we feel, including the inflammation in our joints. You have your lymphatic system working the right way. It is absolutely fine. So these are simple lifestyle changes that you should inculcate in your plan. There is no one food that is going to clean up your lymphatic system. It's a combination of your exercise, your sleep again, because while you sleep, the detoxification happens. We have to understand this. Detoxification happens while you sleep, not while you're drinking your green smoothie in the morning. It is while you sleep, all the healing and detoxification happens while you sleep, which is why when you wake up in the morning, you have dirt between your eyes, your mouth smells, your first, first urine is more acidic and more warm. This all signifies that there was a cleanup process that happened while you slept. You compromise your sleep, you compromise detoxification. You compromise detoxification, you have the accumulation of toxins in your body. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.